want to greet you today in the name of Jesus Christ, the only hope for this lost and dying world. In the background, that's Crouch and the disciples. The song is Belong. It was recorded back in 1972. It's uh, 37 minutes after the hour here. We're in the we're in the mission house here in Tanza. We're on the west coast of the island of Luzon here in the Philippines. Some of the things you'll want to be watching around the world. Israel is currently under red alert. Tel Aviv and Jerusalem, the two most populated uh, cities in Jerusalem are under attack. Here in the Philippines, there's an argument between uh, President Rodrigo Duterte and other respected uh, leaders, past and present, about the future of the Philippines in uh, uh, islands in the West Philippine Sea that uh, military experts here in the Philippines believe to be very important to the defense of the people of the Philippines. Uh, so there's a lot of division argument with regard to that. I've got uh, links included, included here in the uh, comment section. Uh, also uh, links to what is taking place over in the Fertile Crescent over in Israel. Yes, see my wife and I are missionaries of God the Father, the Almighty Maker of heaven and earth, and Jesus Christ is only begotten Son. Jesus tells us, He teaches us that He's returning. He is returning soon. He does teach us that no man knows the day or the hour of his return, but he also tells us that the wise, the wise are looking for his return. They're looking uh, for his appearing. And Jesus, he teaches that those who are not looking he, uh, he says that they're subject, they're liable to be found sleeping, fallen asleep, and uh, likely not ready when, uh, when he does appear. He tells us uh, plainly, without a, without a shadow of a doubt, Jesus teaches us, that he comes like a thief in the night. He said that if uh, he said that the good, if the good man or good woman, if they believe, if they're wise, they believe that uh, his return is near, that they will, they will be prepared. They will be looking for his appearance as. Checking here to make sure I have audio. It's easier for me to see who comes into the room many times when I'm using the smartphone as opposed to using the uh, the Hewlett Packard because I use the Hubert Hewlett Packard and I can't always identify when somebody comes in and there's still people that I will not see when you come into the room. So it is uh, 41 uh, minutes after the hour, and uh, we're not listening to Andre Crouch anymore. We're just uh, uh, doing some of the music of Andre Crouch as we get started. Um, if you will, Turn in your Bible, 
turn to second second timothy uh, chapter 3 now i need to emphasize here that jesus teaches see he is alive jesus lives today he still has miracle working power he still hears you when you call out to him he is uh he has he's he has led a a sinless life he is our substitution on that cross yes he was born of a virgin and uh, he's promised he has promised that he will return and receive us to himself that where he is we will be also that's found in John chapter 14 verse 6 I cannot overemphasize uh, to you the fact that Jesus says he promises to return like a thief in the night now we covered this uh, briefly last week but it's really important that you be aware of what's taking place in the world around you all of these are events and I've got the links I've got the links uh, set up on the uh, comment part where it tells you about uh, what we're talking today about and those things are found uh, can, are found easily on the internet and the stories the links are one link tells you about uh, in Tel Aviv uh, Iron Dome a filmed intercepting barrage of rockets over Israel uh, and it, uh, it, it ca it's clips of Israel's Iron Dome intercepting a barrage of rocket fire over Tel Aviv the second most populated city of Israel from the uh, Gaza Strip and uh, uh, Palestinian militants uh, Hamas said they had fired more than 200 rockets into Israel in retaliation for strikes on a tower block in the Israeli blockaded enclave of Gaza which they control uh, and uh, footage filmed by residents show the Israeli defense system over Tel Aviv intercepting the attacks as explosions are heard also there's a clip uh, that we have uh, listed that you can view uh, this way you can watch the videos for yourself uh, and is the other one is Israel under attack red alert uh, one woman killed in a rocket attack on Tel Aviv as Iron Dome tries to intercept uh, bombardment uh, one woman was killed as more than 80 rockets were fired at Tel Aviv from the Gaza Strip on Tuesday night now there have also uh, been reports and footage of some of these uh, uh, rockets uh, landing on the uh, Harim Al Harim Al Shamar, or what I forgot, the uh, on the Temple Mount. The, the and so only take the only thing it takes is just one being off just a little bit and uh, can land on the dome of the rock and the I'll ask uh, mosque and. Uh, uh, they don't need that type uh, of stuff over in that part of the world that's enough to start a world war that's enough to start a world war and uh, also up for viewing is a, a debate or our, uh, information about the uh, debate between Duterte and Del Rosario uh, for loss of parts of the West Philippine Sea and there's uh, there was a challenge uh, 
uh, for a, a debate, and I don't know if the debate is going to take place, uh, but there was a, a challenge or invitation to a debate. And so these are things that you can see. Also, you know, I wouldn't be surprised uh, if there was uh, military conflict. Um, China has stated uh, that they intend, that is their intent to, if necessary, to take uh, Taiwan, uh, formerly known as the island of Formosa in times past, that they will take them by force. They conclude that uh, Taiwan is a breakaway uh, province of China. We're also here in the uh, Philippines. There have been uh, there have been banners uh, spotted in the national capital region. Uh, I don't know if anybody's accepted responsibility, but some of those banners proclaim, uh, "Welcome to the Philippines." Uh, a province of China, and that is not well received by many here in the Philippines. And so uh, let's uh, take a look. You should have your Bible by now. should have your Bible by now. And uh, turn to Second Timothy uh, chapter 3. Second Timothy uh, chapter 3 and take a look here and we're about uh, tw almost 12 minutes in 12 minutes in and we're at uh, 48 minutes after the hour so uh, Second Timothy chapter 3 verse 1 this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. I know that the last year uh, has been uh, very dangerous. It has been troublesome times. Uh, they have arrived. And they seem to be escalating in the severity. These things are coming to pass right before our eyes they're available on our evening news some uh, some television uh, the cable they have news available around the clock and you can pull up news from just about anywhere in the world on your laptops on your computers on your smartphones for men shall be lovers of their own selves uh, saying that people be selfish, covetous, those people who want things that really don't belong to them, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. We know that that is what we do see. We do see that in society around the world. It's universal. Um, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure, more than lovers of God. It's uh, common in some places, recreational areas, where the houses of God might be empty, but you can uh, go to a lake, a popular beach, fishing hole and uh, found that uh, people are not necessarily at home but they're not at the house of God they're not worshiping God they uh, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God and then uh, verse 5 having a form of godliness but uh, denying the power thereof from such turn away uh, Jesus he teaches that in the last days there would be false teachers false prophets false pastors uh, 
false apostles. Peter tells us just that they're just like there were false uh, leaders in the day of Jeremiah and in the Old Testament that in these last days there would be uh, the false among the sheep, the wolves in sheep's clothing. Uh, but the Bible does say that there is a form of godliness, but denying uh, the power thereof from such turn away. Jesus, the word of God, the apostles, they tell us not to forsake the assembling of ourselves together. And there are people who say, where is the coming of the Lord? I've been hearing this and it has not changed i've been hearing this all of my life and i think that the that the lord's coming is way off in the distance and so it's way off in the distance and so they're not looking for the lord to return and there are horrible arguments between uh, believers uh, on the internet one attacking this one, one attacking that one. But Jesus said that uh, those who believe that his coming has been delayed or that it's a way off that uh, people uh, who think that the, the Lord's coming is way off, they forget to make disciples. Instead, they, they attack, they smite, they hit one another. Isn't it true, yes it is, that Jesus, uh, he teaches us that the world would know that we are his disciples, that we are his students based upon our love from, for one another. Uh, but the Bible says that uh, Jesus, Jesus says that people will, they will argue with one another and that there would be deception. Jesus tells us uh, uh, plainly. He was abundantly clear. He tells us that uh, uh, people fall into error because they don't know the scriptures. It is very good for you to study the scriptures every single day. And when you study the word of God, you'll find what the apostle Paul has written under the inspiration of the Holy Ghost that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There is none righteous, no, not one. Uh, our God, he will not be mocked. Whatever a man or woman sows, he will reap. And uh, But our God will not be mocked. The Word of God teaches us plainly that uh, he knows the thoughts and the intentions of the heart. You can pretend to be, uh, uh, you can be a scribe or a Pharisee. You can be an expert in the Word of God. But our Father in heaven, he doesn't judge as uh, human beings do. That he, uh, he judges on the heart. And he says, I will have mercy on whom I choose to have mercy. Mm -hmm. Yes, and he says, vengeance is mine. He doesn't allow you to, uh, people do. But his decision is not up for dispute. Uh, so... Even if you think that you are an expert in the Word of God and that you know the ins and out of uh, Jewish law or spiritual law, our Father, He tells us, He says, My ways are not your ways. My thoughts are not your thoughts. Just like the heavens are above the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts above your thoughts. Trying to uh, gauge who uh, steps into the 
room who uh, may come in. And so uh, we want to say hello to Jim. want to say hello to Jim and Joe and John and Kathy, uh, Joe. They're male and female Joes. And uh, we uh, appreciate all of you. Warren and uh, Pastor, yes, good to see you there. And uh, and we have uh, friends that tune in from different time zones, different locations around the world. We're at uh, 57 uh, minutes into the hour. Going to be at the top of the hour. And I uh, want to let you know that God is uh, moving here in the Philippines. I posted just uh, earlier today a video from uh, one of our campaigns, one of our uh, meetings over in Tyrosan. That's over in Palawan. It's in the southern part of the island. And uh, that's from Mother's Day 2019, prior to the pandemic. And uh, prior, to, uh, prior to the pandemic, I see for some reason there seems to be uh, an interruption uh, in the internet. Some uh, there be breaks, and so you pray for us because uh, we know that uh, Satan wants to uh, hinder the message that goes out. Uh, but we've got that up there, and we try to put uh, pictures. Uh, to show what the Lord is doing and how he's touching so many. But prior to, uh, up to this point, we've been into more than 50 different communities here in the Philippines, campaigns and different ones, and mainly upon two islands so far, so far. And, uh, but God, uh, people are, coming to know Jesus as their Lord and Savior. They're in churches where uh, they have good teachers, good pastors uh, that schedule uh, for baptism in water. And one uh, coming up uh, soon, not too far from here. Not too far from here. So, uh, in... Uh, we're expecting, as the Lord allows, to lower the ceiling here in the mission house. And as we do that, it'll allow us to have uh, big savings on the electric bill. Uh, it, the heat index the other day, well, earlier was about 104, 105. And uh, we only have uh, two rooms that are air conditioned. And so some because it's so hot we don't use the rooms in the heat of the day good to see you Jason uh, we're praying for you praying for uh, those oh in the bluegrass and also those in uh, West Virginia too West Virginia as well and we want you to know that uh, we appreciate you we appreciate you and we're praying and uh, perhaps Perhaps it won't be too uh, much longer, but uh, some of our friends will be able to visit with us here on the mission fields and to engage with us on the mission fields. We've got uh, n a number of pastors that will be uh, happy to see you. But uh, you pray because we want the uh, facilities to be as comfortable for you as possible. So before you come, let us know because we want to, things to be in uh, good, good shape. And I still keep seeing for some reason there seems to be an interruption and the uh, internet signals will be praying with us because that hampers, that hampers 
uh, the gospel. We want to pray with you uh, right now. We're about 25 minutes in. So pray with us. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you that you always hear us when we pray. Your word uh, tells us that uh, you you teach us. Jesus, you teach us that uh, your return could be at any time. And you teach us that the wise are looking for the coming of the bridegroom. And that we make sure that we have more than enough regardless of when the bridegroom comes. But you're, you teach us also in your word that there are people who are careless. They think that your delay, your coming has been delayed and uh, they become more lazy. They're not vigilant. They don't make sure that they have more than enough. They are satisfied with just enough to get by. And your word teaches, Matthew 25, that uh, that is not a good habit. Not a good habit. And so when the bridegroom comes, the probability is they are not going to be where they need to be when the bridegroom comes and shuts the door. Yes, it's what your word teaches. Let's uh, take time to pray. Prayer is so important. there, uh, There are so many people, they don't know how to pray. This prayer taught by Jesus in Matthew 6 and also found in Luke chapter 11. Many times this is the only prayer that somebody might know. And I modify it because if you use it right, you can cover every need known to modern human beings. It, uh, it's a good pattern for prayer. You can use it. You can use it every day and your prayer can change every day according to your needs. So let's pray with us, please. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you that Jesus gives us as your children the authority to cry out to you, to call out to you, O our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. We want to glorify your name. Y'all praise the name of the Lord. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Yes, we want you to ask every day for his kingdom to come. Yes, and his will to be done in your life as it is in heaven. That's a good thing to pray. He tells us in uh, Luke chapter 11, as in heaven, so in earth. Good to see you today. I don't know if you're actually catching uh, the broadcast or not, but we're having uh, interruption in the feed. So you pray with us with regard to that because it causes the feed to... But uh, we appreciate uh, Barry. Uh, Barry, I've known him, I guess, since about 13 or 14 years old. and. It's been at least a year or two since I was 13 or 14 years old. I don't jump as high or run as fast as I used to. So we, uh, we thank you that your kingdom come, your will be done, as in heaven, so in earth. Forgive us of our sins as we forgive those that sin against us. Yes, Lord, forgive us of our sin, because sin separates from God. And sometimes, Father God, there's an issue there. It's hard to forgive people for that. You know where we struggle, but it's like you told the Apostle Paul. Yes, you said, uh, my grace is sufficient. My strength is made perfect in 
your weakness. Talk to the Lord. Be honest with God. We uh, thank you that you don't lead us into temptation. You teach that our Father does not lead us into evil. But you tell us that every good and perfect gift comes down from the Father. Yes. Includes your prayers. It includes your daily bread. It includes uh, paying your rent. Feeding your family. Yes. Every good and perfect gift comes down from the Father. Where it be uh, checks in the mail. Inheritances. Newfound monies. Scholarships. Different ones. These things come from God the Father. Every good and perfect gift. Lord, we thank you. We ask that you bless your children, those who endeavor to do things for you that are so big that without your help, it would be a disaster. We thank you and praise you for yours is the kingdom. All authority belongs to you. Yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. God is doing many uh, great things. It's uh, Wednesday. Uh, af it's Wednesday night here in the Philippines. It's eight minutes after the top of the hour. But if you're in places such as uh, India, well, you tend to be, your time tends to be 30 minutes off. So for some of us, it's eight minutes after the hour. And with others, it's uh, 20 minutes till the hour, depending on which time zone, which you're located. God's blessing us. He's, uh, he's, uh, I want you to know that our God is still on the throne. He still answers prayers. And many times he chooses to use good men and women of God just like you. And he takes the little and he stretches it so much, so very much. So it is now nine minutes after the top of the hour. We're about 33, 34 minutes in. We like to keep it brief. We want you to be able to chew it up. Remember, on the, on the links, I have uh, uh, links for you to go to see news about... Uh, the argument over the Philippines, the debate over the West Philippine Sea. Uh, in uh, Jerusalem, there's a red alert. Uh, Israel is currently under attack. And we have footage of the Iron Dome intercepting a barrage of rockets over Israel. Any one of these, uh, I know that... Uh, the United States has had uh, uh, words with uh, Russia, and they uh, not in an agreement with regard to China and Taiwan. China seems to be at odds with all of its uh, Pacific nations, I mean neighbors. So... Um, God bless you and keep you and let his light shine upon you and give you peace. The peace that passes all, understand, all understanding, it only comes from Jesus Christ, his son. He tells us, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father except by me. 
You have a great day. Send your comments. Uh, we do pray over all of them. Uh, we review to make sure that we haven't missed anything. Sometimes we do. But uh, we uh, look because we want to pray for everybody. So uh, God bless you and keep you. Uh, Dios Libendega, that is uh, Spanish for may God bless you.